Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Glasses. In this video, we are going to discuss the numericals based on solubility product. In this video, I am going to show you five different type of numericals based on solubility product and that are very important from the competitive point of view and to have more insight about the topic. So let's start with the numerical problems. So the first numerical is the solubility of silver chloride in water at 25 degrees centigrade. In solubility is dependent on temperature. On increasing the temperature, solubility increases. So this is mentioned over here, 25 degrees centigrade is this much grams per liter. So first you need to understand the unit. Calculate say solubility product at 25 degrees centigrade since both the temperature are same no need to worry about this temperature now first i will write the equation silver chloride will gives you silver plus plus cl minus as i shown you the lab activity in the previous video right so here first what do you need to understand one is solubility which is represented by s the second one is solubility product here you can see solubility is given as 0.00179 grams per liter but as i told you earlier in the definition it is mole per liter which is needs to be required right moles per liter now the question comes how we are going to convert this grams into moles to convert this grams into moles you need to always measure the molecular weight of silver chloride is atomic weight of silver this is the atomic weight of cl when we sum up these two we will get 143.37 grams per mole means one mole of agcl will be equal to 143.37 grams so what about this much grams how we are going to calculate this so just simply write this grams per mole divided by 143.37 grams per mole right so gram will be cancelled out by gram and after division we will get 1.25 into 10, 10 raised to the power minus 5 mole per liter so this mole will go to here so here what you will get solubility is equal to 1.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 mole per liter now what will be the formula for ksp so ksp will be equal to this concentration of silver and concentration of Cl and raised to the power their coefficients. So here raised to the power 1 raised to the power 1 and multiplied by 1 again. So here solubility raised to the power 1 for silver and solubility raised to the power 1 for chloride. Now putting the value of S over here 1.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 mole per liter again this and after multiplying we will get 1.56 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 mole square per liter square okay so this is the ksp value this is the answer the next numerical problem is the solubility product of caf2 in water at 18 degree centigrade is 3.45 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 calculate the solubility of caf2 in water so solubility product is given and solubility for calcium fluoride has been asked means ASP is given and S is asked. So first we will write the equation. Why it is important to write the equation because from this we get the idea about the solubility product formula. Calcium 1 mole so 1 S and fluoride 2 moles so 2 S. The KSP which is given in the question 3.45 into 10 raised to the power minus 11. So this is the KSP value. Now formula for the KSP is X into S raised to the power X. For cation or CA 1 is there X and S raised to the power 1 coefficient right. Y is 2 S what will be the power so 2 Y. So here s raised to the power 1, 2s raised to the power 2 is equal to 4s cube. And if we put the value of ksp over here and we will solve this equation, then we will get solubility for CaF2 or calcium fluoride is 2.05 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 mole per liter. Next numerical problem, the solubility of a sparingly soluble salt, silver chromate is this, solubility. 
assuming complete dissociation calculate the solubility product of the salt so here what we are having silver chromate is in equilibrium with 2 ag plus plus cro4 2 minus right 2 s and this is 1 s and writing the ksp for this ksp is equal to silver raised to the power its coefficient chromate raised to the power its coefficient and by putting the value of silver and chromate in this equation what we will get 2s raised to the power 2 s raised to the power 1 and in this manner we will get 4s cube and as we know we have the value of solubility s so by putting the value of s over here in this equation we will get the ksp value so here ksp will be equal to this much the next numerical problem the solubility product of srf2 strontium fluoride in water is this calculate its solubility in this molar nAF solution so this is little tricky here i'll just write the equation again and uh, from this equation we, this is a sparingly soluble salt and here is s2s in the container we already have sodium fluoride NaF so on writing this NaF which is completely soluble we will have fluoride in excess right fluoride which comes from strontium fluoride and fluoride which comes from sodium fluoride you can just visualize this uh, this is one molar here you can visualize this suppose in this container I am having sodium fluoride sodium fluoride dissociates and give sodium plus plus F minus and strontium fluoride dissociates so we will get fluoride from here and fluoride from here also and from these two from sodium fluoride we get fluoride equal to 0 0.1 mole per liter because it is completely soluble it's molar molar is also known as mole per liter molar and from strontium fluoride we will get 2s s is the solubility of strontium fluoride on adding these two we will get here you just see this is 2s plus 0 0.1 molar in this equation so for strontium fluoride we are having strontium s fluoride 2s plus this 0 0.1 molar comes from sodium fluoride so this is important so putting the value of ksp in this formula strontium s this is for 1 plus 1 fluoride 2s plus 0 0.1 raised to the power 2 okay so here you can also ask why we didn't multiply with 2 because this comes from sodium fluoride not for the strontium fluoride strontium fluoride is 2s okay so that is why we didn't multiply it by 2 raised to the power 2 now as you know that s solubility is very very less than 0 0.1 molar mole per liter so we can discard this 2s from this equation what we will get s into 0 0.1 raised to the power 2 so in this manner we can calculate the solubility for strontium fluoride by this equation I hope you understand this concept this is little tricky but important the next numerical problem this is again very important and little tricky so 25 ml of 0.01 molar silver nitrate solution is mixed with 25 ml of 0.0005 molar aqueous NaCl solution determine if the precipitate of silver chloride will be formed given ksp for silver chloride is this much ksp is given that is separate thing first what you need to understand we are having silver nitrate plus we are having solution of sodium chloride these two on reaction will give silver chloride so how this reaction is proceeds first you just try to visualize this here we are having silver nitrate plus sodium chloride this gives silver chloride plus sodium nitrate this is as white ppt and all three are soluble in water but this is as white ppt okay now 25 ml of 0 0.01 molar silver nitrate and what about cl 25 ml of 0 0.0005 molar nacl here you can see now the overall solution will becomes 50 ml and what about their molarity that we have to check first you just visualize this suppose i am having a container which is containing 25 ml of silver nitrate of 0 0.01 molar to this i am adding sodium chloride of 0 0.0005 molar 25 ml when i am just adding this to silver nitrate 
then the volume will becomes 50 ml here you just see on adding this 25 ml to this container we will get 50 ml of silver nitrate plus NaCl solution which gives us silver chloride plus sodium nitrate so this is important to visualize because here you may get confused now calculating the molarity of silver at this right hand side okay so silver will be calculated by n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 normality formula so what you know here 25 ml molarity is also known 50 ml is also known what about normality so normality from here we can calculate this this into this divided by this we will get the N2. So, this is N2 for silver. Similarly, for chloride, N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2. Here, you can put all the values N1, V1 and V2. So, from here, N2 can be calculated. So, N2 will be like this. Now, from the equation, silver concentration of silver will be like this and chloride will be like this. Now, we are writing the value for KSP. Now, we are going to calculate the ionic product. Ionic product means silver plus Cl minus in this solution. So, concentration of silver we have kept over here and uh, concentration of Cl minus we have added over here and we get the value afterwards. Now, KSP is given here. So, KSP is 1.7 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 molar square. Here, ionic product is 1.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 molar square. So, which one is higher? Which one is lower? So, this one is higher because we are having minus 6. And this is less because we are having minus 10. So, ionic product is higher. And if ionic product is higher than the KSP, then precipitation occurs. So, it is asked, determine if the precipitation of silver chloride will be formed. Yes, precipitation of silver chloride will be formed in this solution. Okay, so this is how one can understand whether the precipitation occurs or not. So, this is very important concept and I hope you understand these different type of numericals based on solubility product. These are very useful. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.